everyone. I am Dr. Gabby Tai. I'm a neurologist at the University of California, Irvine and with UCI Mind. Today, I'd like to discuss with you a controversial topic. Does aluminum cause Alzheimer's disease? Aluminum is one of the Earth's most common element. It is everywhere. It is used in construction, manufacturing. Is it is in our soil, it gets into our food, it is found in food additives, in our water, it is seen in medication, cosmetics, personal care products like deodorants. It is found in cookware, aluminum can, aluminum foil. Aluminum is not easily absorbed. The body takes up less than 1% of the aluminum present in food and drink. Most, about 95% of the aluminum taken up by the body is cleared out by the kidneys. We do know, however, that aluminum can accumulate in the body, including in the brain. So where is the controversy about aluminum and Alzheimer's disease come from? We know that very high level of aluminum can affect many processes in our bodies. In 1965, Researchers injected rabbit's brain with aluminum-containing chemicals. In the process, they found that neurofibrillary tangles accumulated in these rabbit's brains. The tangles are similar, but not identical to tangles in people with AD. Eight years later, in 1973, there was a study that showed brain tissue in deceased patients with AD had high aluminum level. With this information came forth the aluminum hypothesis in that aluminum increases AD risk. Years have passed on since then. What does science say now? We know that animal studies have not supported the link between aluminum exposure and typical AD pathology. There's no consistent increase in aluminum in brains of AD patients in subsequent studies. Study of high occupational aluminum exposure have shown mixed results. Therefore, the general consensus is aluminum exposure does not cause Alzheimer's disease. Thank you for joining me today.